Something by the Beatles has one of the coolest key changes ever, but what is it? The A section is in C major. Mm, it's complicated, but we'll talk about that another day. We go from C major in the A section to A major in the B section. How do we get there? I will tell you. We start on an F major chord, and then we go E flat major, G major, second inversion, to C major. The important thing of note here is we have a flat three, two, one movement downwards in the bass line, Me, Re, Do, which means we should be expecting a C minor chord, but instead we get a C major. Now what is it called when you're expecting a minor resolution, but you get a major? A Picardy third. Normally those go at the end of songs, but we have one in like the first five seconds. Plus, they're usually really cheesy, but this song, I don't think it's cheesy at all. Anyway, we go through a beautiful chord progression to get back to our F major that we started the song on. And then again, we hit E flat major, G second inversion. But what comes next might surprise you. We've already been conditioned earlier in the song to expect a C major after those two chords, which is cool because Picardy third, non-diatonic, modal mixture, etc., etc., etc. Well, since we're expecting a C major, a common move would be to go to the relative minor, A minor, which makes sense and it sounds good. That would be called a deceptive cadence. But there's one other thing we've also been conditioned to expect, the Picardy third. And so, George Harrison, Picardy thirds, the A minor giving us an A major. You're asking me where my love grows. I don't know why. Yeah, so basically, it's a deceptive Picardy third with some modal mixture thrown in just for fun. Yeah, I think that's so cool. I can't even think of another song that has something like that in it. Do you know of another song that has a deceptive Picardy third cadence in it? Please let me know if you do. Also, if you like this song and other Beatles songs, you should check out the show. Come to the show. We're putting it on. It's going to be awesome. We're doing a bunch of stuff. It's going to be live in concert. There's a live stream and in person. Yeah, check it out. You know where to go for more info. Uh, yeah.